For those of you who don't know, this bug is on an MR2 chassis. Hux Racing was the first company to have any amount of faith in us, so go support them like they supported us. Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. So, as you may be able to see, bugs on the trailer. The last time, now it was a completely different form of bug, but the last time the bug was at PFI, it was an absolute disaster. Every time you do a pull, it looks like it blows up. We had never driven the car. We just put it together. It ran. It rolled. And we were like, let's go to Dino. We're going to get famous. It was a disaster, man. Smoke, uh, fluids. I mean, super embarrassing for me. I just, it, it really beat me up and it, it did not go good. This time around, I was like, cool, you know, we've been driving the car. Dennis put his little street tune on it. We've been driving it and I mean, frankly, we've been beating the snot out of it. You know, nothing fell off, nothing, you know, we fixed all the leaks, we fixed all the kinks. You know, so then I started doing body work. Well then my neighbor, Greg, Greg, decided he wanted to swap. And I was like, for, he was gonna try and make it to the last PSCA. And uh, so I was like, cool, yeah, that's fine. I wasn't gonna make it. I still had a ton of body work to do. So now, tomorrow <laughs> is the PSCA race, and we're kind of back in the first version of the bug where we have not driven this. We all, to the best of our abilities, triple checked everything. We rolled it, I rolled it around the building a couple times, you know, kind of shimmied it down. Dennis drove it around. We didn't get on it because we were running behind and we just put it on E85. So the tune that's on it is really not good anymore. So we didn't get on it. Um, runs super good, no weird noises, uh, no leaks, no nothing. Clutch feels all right. I don't know what a twin disc is supposed to feel like, but uh, I'm very nervous. This has been two and a half years in the making uh, and I really wanted to try and take my time because it seems like every time we come up to PFI, uh, me and Mina missed something, we're always rushing. And so I was really hoping this was gonna be one where like I wasn't in a hurry so we can make sure everything's good to go. And here we are in a freaking hurry. I am literally a quarter mile from PFI. Someone put this down, pick up with the car on the dyno or something of that nature. Pray for me. <laughs> Cool in here. Fill me in on what I just did wrong. There's just, I don't think you did anything wrong. There's uh -huh. just an air pocket. So, you know, as it warmed up, it ran away and there's no pressure in the hoses. So we know there's a little pocket of air. So we're just going to try to do that. We deal with it with Kyle's MR2 all the time. Mm, mm. It's like a thing. Okay. But once they cool off, they never warm up. So once we get it, we're really going to be good. Cool. Yep. I believe in you. It's on you, right? Anything in. No? No. It just sucked in what it pushed out. 197. Fire Sorry. back up.
47 that, horsepower. That's 40 horsepower less than our best bull of the old setup. <laughs> so, we already know better. You look so bum, bum. tiny sitting bum, on the bum. floor. Look how that hose is going right into his mouth too. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's feeding him like a zoom in on him. Like a straw. Zoom in. Tom. No, turn, no, sit up. No, sit up. Turn that way. Sit up. No, down a little. Turn right. <laughs> There is one wire coming out of the analog plug. Of course, hot, Jamie. Yeah, I know it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> so I changed that wire. Surely, figuring something out. zip ties on more lines that didn't have zip ties so we don't actually know what solved the problem. Hey 340. It all was the plugs bro. Well he said he put zip I ties put on some lines. <laughs> we can't not credit me for that so. The garage idiot. Well, well done with your plug suggestion but you know. Right? I gotta put Sorry. a little fuel in, in it but not much. Cool. 
and we should probably just call it there and do some logging at the track, just because I'm um, after Kurt. Yeah. But that sounded I think nice. That really went well. Yeah. And I think we're on the right track. It sounded uh, beautiful. Maybe, maybe next week we can do some more content and maybe have a little more sure. time and do a full workup. Yeah. Success. Get that on camera so I can show Mina. What is the date today? Is that what you're right now? This camera, I just stole it. Oh. Tell them how proud of them you are. I'm not listening to you. You guys do whatever you're doing with my camera. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Ow. I'll watch it later. I'm very excited. Oh, he's We're excited. Very excited. <laughs> We're very excited to you. He's excited. You know. I haven't seen this car for what, three or two or three years? Yeah, I went up and saw it like two weeks ago. But how long has it been since it's been on the dyno? It's been a couple years. Yeah. Like, we barely got the dyno in the ground yeah. here. So it's super pretty amazing what he's accomplished. I got to say, being inside here does feel safe. It does. It's so I spacious. I think there should be a bug designed this way. Just because of how cool it is and how much space is inside this thing. Dude, look how much room above your head. It is wild. <laughs> but we're super proud of Preston and all he's accomplished. Today he's not a garage idiot. Today he's a garage pro and I am really stoked to have him out here. You know, he, he does the idiot thing for fun anyway, but he really did a good job. And he's a smart dude. Yeah, really and we way smart. appreciate it. He really worked hard on this and to give us to trust us with his baby is always means so much. So yeah. it's really cool. And uh, I want to say with his plugs, but it could have been his vacuum line zip ties. So. Either way, I bet you the zip ties will be there and those plugs will always be there. Yep, teamwork. We made his dream work. Let's go.